guys, it's Luke from Retro Revival here, and today I'm going to be talking about the Wii. And I absolutely love the Wii, and this is the controller. So, uh, yeah, this one in the poll this week. Um, so if you want to have a go at what you want to be seen next week, have a look at the poll up in the card up there in the eye. And, uh, yeah, let's get straight into it. So the controller looks like this, it's got the power button at the top, you've got a D-pad, got A, plus, minus, the home button, 1 and 2. Uh, these lights down here tell you which player you are, so player 1, 2, 3 and 4. And there's a B button at the back, and also you wear a strap which uh, goes onto your wrist and you pull this down to uh, secure it to your wrist so you don't accidentally fling it off and it hit your TV. Also in the battery bit at the back, uh, I don't have any batteries in this one, but there's a little button here and that syncs it to the console and that's how you connect it to your Wii. There are a lot of attachments for the Wii remote and the main one is the nunchuck and you use this on many games to move around. Uh, there's a C and a B. Uh, I'd say one of the main ones you use this for is uh, Wii Sports Resort where um, use it for archery on there and you can also use it on Wii Sports to do the boxing and uh, that connects to the Wiimote in the port down here and it just clicks in easy as pie just to do and uh, yeah let's get on to the games first two I'm going to clump together and that is FIFA 08 and PES 2008 and these are just your basic football games they're probably quite cheap now because well they are 10 years old and uh, yeah it's got a cartoony version of FIFA this uh, FIFA is Pez looks a bit more realistic so yeah there are a lot of dance games to the Wii uh, and if you know me you know that I absolutely love Michael Jackson and this is Michael Jackson the experience uh, it's an okay game it's just really dance into his songs uh, it's basically just dance as you can see on the back there but for Michael Jackson songs uh, yeah it's good for parties so yeah up next is quite a strange game to have on the Wii because it's quite an adult game and that is no more heroes and this is a hidden gem for the Wii uh, it's quite a dark game uh, someone's uh, grabbing a boob there and uh, yeah, there's a lot of swearing in it and violence, but uh, still a very fun game. And it's quite strange to have an adult game on the Wii, so yeah. Up next is De Blob, and this is quite an interesting game. You basically go around the world, uh, filling in the colours and painting everywhere, so it's not bland and it's all colourful. Uh, quite, It's going to be quite a cheap game now, I'm guessing, so... Um, yeah, if it sounds like your kind of thing, it's quite a fun game. Pick it up. Another game that's about painting things is Epic Mickey. And I actually got this on the date of release in Tesco's. And uh, I absolutely love this game. Uh, it's got Mickey on the front and you go around painting the world with your paintbrush. And the villain in this one is Oswald the Lucky Rabbit. And in the second one, which I've actually got, it's he's a good guy. So... So, um, yeah, it's quite fun. I love Disney games. They're always fun, so pick it up. Up next is another party game, Toy Story Mania. And uh, it says it includes 3D glasses. Mine doesn't, but you get to shoot things. And, uh, yeah, it's just an all-round fun game for parties. So, yeah. Up next uh, is the first ever Wii game I got, and that is Big Beach Sports. We got this uh, with our... Wii for Christmas about five years ago. Uh, well, I think it was longer than that. Jeez, I do feel old now. <laughs> but um, Big Beach Sports, uh, it's an all right game. It's definitely uh, inferior to Wii Sports Resort and Wii Sports, but still an okay game. Up next is Super Monkey Ball ba Banana Blitz. And uh, yeah, this is an okay game. It's a lot of mini games again, and you get to do the uh, rolling around collecting the bananas. Um, it's a lot better than the other game, which is called 
Super Monkey Ball Step and Roll. Uh, that game is just complete trash. So if you're going to get a Super Monkey Ball game for the Wii, get this one. Up next is quite a fun game, and that's Cooking Mama. And to be honest, Cooking Mama is probably my guilty pleasure game because I'm quite embarrassed that I like it so much. But it's just a really fun game, and uh, I don't I don't really mind if people know that I like this because if it's a fun game, that's all that matters. So it's just like the DS one, but with uh, more recipes and things. So yeah. Oh, this game, this next game is pretty bad. And that is Ninja Bread Man. And I only got this because, number one, it was cheap. And number two, I've heard that it's one of the worst games ever made. And it is just bad. It's just bad. It doesn't deserve to even be on this earth. You go around as a gingerbread man. And, uh, yeah, that's literally all that happens in it. So, yeah, don't get this game. Up next is a game that I've reviewed in the past um, on my previous channel called Variety Society 90 and that is Sega Superstars Tennis and it's an okay game I mean it's basically Mario Tennis but with Sega characters so yeah it's just it's just an okay game I mean it doesn't get any praise but yeah up next is Rayman Raving Rabbids and everyone knows this franchise for those annoying little rabbits and of course Rayman uh, it's another fun game by this franchise uh, it definitely deserves a mention and you guys should get it up next is a uh, quite a uh, adorable game and that is Animal Crossing let's go to the city and I think this is quite an overlooked title in the Animal Crossing franchise everyone raves about New Leaf on the 3DS so um, I think this one deserves a bit more recognition than it actually gets and it's not an expensive game whatsoever I'd say it's under £10 so if you like Animal Crossing it's definitely one to look out for up next is another fun multiplayer game and that is Disney Universe and you get to be these little characters which you can dress up to look like your favourite Disney characters and you go around doing levels and it's just a really fun game it's really cool the level design is excellent the character design is excellent so it definitely deserves a mention here up next is another great game for this console and it is WarioWare Smooth Moves I'd say this is one of the best games for this console uh, it's a lot of mini games just like the other WarioWare games but it, um, it's a fairly cheap game which is quite nice for the Wii because a lot of them are expensive and definitely one for you to get. Up next is another overlooked game and that is Wii Play and this has a lot of uh, mini games on it. I'd say it's kind of a mix of Wii Party and Wii Sports because a lot of similarities to both the games. And there's a lot of mini games and they're all fun. Um, they can sometimes get a bit repetitive but overall they're quite fun so definitely one to get. Up next is another very fun game, and that is Wii Music. And basically, you get to play different songs uh, as your Miis using a lot of different instruments. And they span from uh, nursery rhyme songs to pop songs and video game songs, which is awesome. You get to do Super Mario Bros., you get to do F-Zero, um, you get to do Legend of Zelda, and you get to do Wii Sports. So, uh... There's, and there's loads of others. It's a very fun game, fairly cheap game, and uh, definitely one for you to get. These next two I'm going to clump together, Wii Sports and Wii Sports Resort. And I've got the cardboard cases for these. And Wii Sports, it's everyone has the game if you have a Wii. And Wii Sports Resort, you have to have the Wii Motion Plus uh, add-ons to play it. Um, unless you have, of course, a Wiimote that has that built in. Um, it's These are both classic games and uh, they are really fun, really fun to play with your family. And anyone can pick them up and start playing. That's just how great they are. So, if you don't have them in your collection, first of all, who are you? And second of all, get them. And last up, I thought I'd save my favourite Wii game to last. And that is Mario Kart Wii. Uh, I love Mario Kart. This is my favourite Mario Kart game. And um, recently I've been playing Mario Kart 7 on the 3DS. And also this week, 
I just bought Mario Kart DS and this came in the post and I love this so I've just been going Mario Kart mad recently and you get to have the wheel uh, which you can see them two using on the front so you can see Luigi Mario both using the wheels that come with the game and this just shows you that the motion controls on the Wii are just great I love using the wheels and 32 amazing tracks 16 new 16 retro so if you haven't got this game you need to get it so guys thank you very much for watching uh, I hope you enjoyed this video uh, I want to know in the comments section below how much you like the Wii I absolutely love it I've just been playing it a lot recently and um, yeah it's just a great console a lot of people think it's bad I just really like it but um, yeah Thank you very much for watching. I've been Luke from Retro Revival. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you all later. Bye.